Mass incarceration is warehousing the potential of millions of American citizens, perpetuating old racial injustices, and shortchanging taxpayers with an immense price tag. Frequently, I encounter those who struggle to move forward after being incarcerated for nonviolent offenses. And there are millions more who could tell similar stories of frustration, denied opportunity, and despair. While our nation is home to 5% of the world's population, we house nearly 25% of its prisoners. The federal prison population has increased by nearly 800% over the past 30 years. The explosion of America's prison population is strongly correlated with the so-called war on drugs. There are more people incarcerated today for drug offenses alone than all the people incarcerated in 1970 when the war on drugs began. Nearly three-fourths of the federal prison population is comprised of nonviolent offenders. The U.S. spends over a quarter of a trillion dollars a year on the criminal justice system. Imagine where we would be as a country if we could take just a fraction of that and spend it on infrastructure projects to fix our crumbling roads and bridges. Or if we were able to spend some of the quarter trillion dollars improving education for our kids. African Americans and Latinos are far more likely to be arrested for selling or possessing drugs, even though studies have shown that African Americans and whites use drugs at the same rate, and whites are actually more likely to sell drugs. What's worst of all is that more incarceration does not necessarily lead to fewer crimes. This is Senator Cory Booker. If you agree it's time to rethink mass incarceration, share this video with your friends.